Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and I appreciate you stopping by to check out my video and we're here at Silverstone and at the second race of my career number two with ACC and I qualified on the pole which is good for me and I'll see if I can take advantage of it and just have a have a good result let's get started Stay double fire Stay away from curbs. Green light. Go, go, go. Not the greatest of starts. Lamborghini. I think it's going to be really hard to get by him. And those Lamborghinis are they're fast. I don't know what it is with those Bentleys and Silverstone, but it just seems like they're magic together or something. I guess they're both British, so I guess it just works. I think the McLaren would be really good here, too. I'm pulling a little bit of uh, gap, so that's good. A little late on the brakes there. I hope everybody's doing good today and hopefully everybody has a great weekend. Depending on when you see this. The way my schedule is right now. Uh, with work and everything, usually, you know, my videos, like, usually probably they don't come out till, uh, usually Wednesday or Thursday is usually the days that my videos usually come out.
I like Silverstone. I mean, it's a good track. I'm not the greatest at it, but I mean, it's a. I mean, I don't mind it. It's not a bad track. wide there. One thing is super wide, which is really, really nice. Complete opposite of like Rand's Hatch or something, which is, looks like you're racing on a motorcycle track. Back a while ago, I've seen some awesome races in uh, on front with motorcycles there at Brands Hatch back in you know like in the 2000s and 90s and stuff like that. Kind of showing my age. See how consistent I can be. All it takes is just like Mons, a one one bad mistake, and that's it. Why well, these guys that do this? You know, guys that do this stuff that are super duper fast and just do it every, you know, every lap. It definitely, definitely takes talent. Which hopefully I'll keep getting, you know, hopefully I'll keep getting better, I hope. I don't know if anybody notices, but I try to change my field of vision just to, on the car to see if that would help a little bit with just being more consistent. And, on the right, man. Oh, I don't need that. Yeah, just to be more consistent and to be better off on, you know, hitting, you know, the spots and trying to cut some time down on my lap. I don't know if it'll work, but just trying to anything I can. Hopefully one day I can upgrade my equipment. Um I got the CSL Fanatic CSL Elite pedals, which I Said on another video. In case anybody that didn't hear it or didn't catch that one, which I've had those for a little while, which I love them. These things are really nice. And I got the load cell on mine, so it's got the th I got three pedals. And like I said, I got the load cell. So that makes it nice on the brake. But I got an old Logitech wheel, and it's definitely old and tired. And the 
force feedback isn't that good on it, so average at best. Probably below average, actually. So I'd like to get a Fanatic to go with it, but I don't know what kind. Probably not, you know, the real, real nice ones. There's a lot of money. I just anything's a lot better than what I got. So hopefully I can sometime get an upgrade for that. Maybe that'll help a little bit. I got, um, on bringing up a subject on another game, I got GTR 2. I've had that forever, which was a great game. Great sounds for that time, for an older game. Supposedly, they're coming out with a GTR 3, which I have would be so awesome. Especially, they're based on WEC. That would be great. You know, and totally Sinbin's supposed to be doing it, and... That would be great. It's supposed to have the same engine as this, uh, Real Engine 4, which I know there's some discussions about if that's good or not, but good in some things, not good in others. But, but still, I mean, I like it because the WEC just, you know, they can concentrate and do really good with what they got, you know, I think it'd be awesome, you know, make it a really good sim, like GTR 2 was, I mean, GTR 2 was just really great, I mean, I thought it was for its time, so I'm really happy with it. Really strong on that back straightaway. Especially if GTR3 has, you know, they have all the, supposed to have all the cars, the WEC and all that. They have all that, kind of like, you know, like ACC with the Lincoln. That would be great. So it would be interesting to see what comes about with that. It's getting me a little bit, but I'm not I'm not real worried about it right now. Losing pressure on the right front. Silverstone is terrible about losing pressure in tires. Last time I raced here and did some practice and stuff, every time you hit any bumps and you lose pressure in tires.
maybe tires get hot or something and once they cool down he can go again. New Bentley looks awesome for how big a, a car that is. I just think they did a really good job with it. I like, I love how that car looks. If they ever come out with a die cast, I definitely like to get get that car. They make the older the older gen uh, Bentleys in a die cast, but they don't. I haven't seen a uh, new one like that one, the 18s. We're not making that one yet. Yeah, I pre-ordered a pre-ordered a new car the other day, yesterday. It'll be a surprise when that comes in. That's it's a big one for me. I'm not a you know big time collector or anything or big time channel or anything. It's a pretty big one for me. Man, look at that Bentley. Man, that thing looks awesome. guys break so early right around here. I don't know if they have real issues. They get nervous because I don't want to smash into them. Unfortunately, unlike other cars, it's basically I don't know how you call it. Basically looking at a garage door. I shouldn't say that. It's mean, but I mean, I'm trying to, you just can't see nothing around it. The thing's so big, I can't see nothing around it. You know, like a Ferrari or Lamborghini, you can see kind of over it or around it or whatever. This thing is, this thing is so dang big. But it's, it is a great looking car. bit too deep. Kills my drive. I mean, I can't see nothing. Get in the pits. <laughs> Didn't even see that. see what we can do uh, 33 seconds that's not real bad that's a few seconds extra it's not terrible no, 
there's a McLaren. Can't wait till they get this pit stuff done. Come on, let's go. All right. Awesome. I love passing somebody on in the pits. Makes my job a lot easier. I don't know if it matters, you know, to anybody or anything, um, but I basically got the the graphics back at 1440. So, and you know, it should. I, I, I try to keep it at 60, so it, it should pretty much 90% of the time or more stay at 60. So. I'm hoping that'll be, you know, better. It looks better to me. But like I said, I didn't want to give up any frame rate, so I, you know, had to work on it some more. And but I, I wanted to keep it at 1440. I hope to have a uh, review, post and a review tomorrow for anybody that's uh, interested out there. So, looking forward to that. I mean, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to come out with one. Uh, every two or three weeks come out with a uh, hopefully with another review another model so I'm gonna try to try to keep doing you know sometimes you know with shipping or delays I mean sometimes sometimes it might not be totally perfect but hopefully that's I'm gonna try to keep it around that So hopefully, whether you like the you know racing sim or the diecast models or other things, I mean, I want to do more with my cars too. Which right now I'm just time and money and things like that. But hopefully, I got some stuff coming up with that too. Hopefully, sometime soon with my Corvette. Well, my well, mainly my one Corvette. But let's see how that goes. But um, you know, the, the racing sim and the, basically the the die cast, they should be hopefully keeping on a steady basis.
I mean, I appreciate any feedback. Anybody wants to talk about anything or or any uh, something they want to see or car they would like to see or any track or I mean, I don't mind. So I mean, some they haven't seen a car that I don't you know drive that often or never. You know, I'll take a shot at something just to see if somebody would like it. So just let me know in the comments. That's one thing about ACC that I can say with confidence over almost any sim game that I've had. And I've had a lot of them over the years. Like again, I'm showing my age. But this this game, that's why I play it so much, is the only one of the only games I've ever seen that I literally can get into any car and just go to a track and just whether I put you work on a setup or just throw the aggressive, you know, the standard setup or whatever, and just, it's fun. I mean, it really is. I mean, the different cars, you know, the way they sound, the way they react, every single car is completely different. I mean, the Ferrari, you know, you take two mid-engine cars, a Ferrari and a Lamborghini, and they are com feel completely different. Not even remotely the same. And yet they're both mid-engine cars. It's, to me, it just—I love it. You know, let alone. I mean, like I've always said, how great it looks. I mean, the game looks so good. And I know the AI isn't—you know—perfect. It's one of the best I've seen in uh, racing sim. I guess I'm just GT car crazy, I guess. three seconds back so that's nice of course that doesn't mean anything heck I had a 12 second lead at Monza last time and I blew it so still got to keep every lap got to be consistent and keep going back there. Definitely don't want to hit that sausage curve. Ooh, that would be bad.
Oh, well, how's everybody like the C8 Corvette? I mean, I wasn't too sure about it. I saw the reveal and all that. It looks good. I mean, better than I thought it would. Looks looks okay. I mean, there's some things that's not the greatest, but it looks good for a base Corvette. I mean, I think they come out with a Z06 model or something like that. That's even you know you know more radical. I think it'd be great. I'm a big Corvette fan, so I definitely watch that and see how that goes. Sounds like it's going to be finally got a great transmission in it. At least it sounds like it. Dual clutch, DCT. So that's uh, finally Corvette's putting a. Sounds like it's putting a good transmission in it. I love, I mean, both of my Corvettes are manuals. Uh, my 12 is a six speed and my 16 is a seven speed. But, you know, and they're fun. I, I don't mind them, but I mean, especially my 12, I wish I had something that was like that, that, you know, that that's time on the track that I can improve my lap times. So I would definitely go with it. And if I had the money, I'd have one done for my car. I mean, something similar. What I, what I meant by that was they can take the six-speed and they make it where it's, you know, you don't you have to use a clutch and and all that kind of stuff. Uh, MTI Racing, where it does all the work on my car. They, they do them in-house. So, I mean, it's not really a sequential, but it's pretty much as close as you're going to get to one. So, So that's what I meant by putting one in. I wish I could put one of those in my car. From what I've seen from other guys doing careers and stuff, it looks like ACC just keep doing the same thing, picking your own, you know, picking whatever car you want and those kinds of things. You don't ever, you know, pick the. At least I, I haven't seen it. I like to see what the schedule is going to be. I don't know if the schedule is going to be a um, endurance and sprint together. The next schedule, something like that, or I don't know. That'll be, you know, on the next career, but. But from what I could tell, it looks like everybody just picks the keeps picking, you know, with you know, basically sponsored by ACC. So Yeah, I'm running a high, a high downforce setup with this, this setup. I tried some low downforce stuff, and I just didn't like it. Made the car jump around too much, and especially in your longer stints. I just, I wanted something that was uh, more consistent. So I just went with the high downforce. 
mean, it probably hurts a little bit on the top speed coming down these straightaways, but not enough to make that big a difference. More than make up for it in a lot of these turns. Slipping a little bit, get a little bit, add a little bit more traction control to it. And pulling away, so I guess he's having more issues because it's about six and a half seconds away, so that's good. drive up. I like better about the AMG too is just the steering wheel. I like these kind of steering wheels better than the, the Porsche had with the normal, you know, the full steering wheel. You see the dash better, it's not in the way. Of course, like I said, I changed my field of view, so in the car, trying to help my lap times and just be more consistent and quicker and everything else, so. I don't know if it helps or not, but I'm trying everything I can. I said this AMG is just a good all-around car. It's not great, but it's just it's just got a good overall package.
Well, hopefully we can have a good pit stop. of speed in there. I guess I was okay. Great pit stop. Yeah, see that that Bentley, that Bentley there. They they got a diecast of those. I've seen a few different uh, Bentleys like that, but I'd like to get the new one, the 18s. That's the really cool looking Bentley. I like the way the AMG sounds. I mean, it sounds really good also. But what's really neat is how this sounds. But yet the Bentley sounds totally different, and it's still a V8. And the Lexus sounds different. It's a V8. And they just, I don't know, they all sound different. And uh, just like they're, you know, it's like the real car. I just think that's really neat. They did a really great sound, really great job on all the sounds of the cars in this game. All the rocks and the gear noises and I'd have to say it's pretty accurate. The reason I say that is one time we went to a race in Savannah, historic. Uh, my wife, my wife, and I went to race in uh, in Savannah. It's the historic races. They got some of the older race cars and stuff. 
and um, BMW was there with their uh, with their old factory cars, and my wife and I paid I think it was ninety dollars a piece to get a couple laps in the uh, M3s factory cars from 2010 or 2011, something like that. The M3 BMWs, the GT2 cars. Uh, I think Tommy Milner drove one, but they had passenger seats in them and uh, get belted in and was over in Savannah and they took us for some hot lamp, hot laps. That was the most fun I think I've ever had in a car. That was absolutely a blast. Although my wife got the better ride because she was behind, she was behind me, so she could see my, you know, I was in the front, the first car, so she was catching us, and you know, they were just, oh man, railing through the corners, and I mean, it was, they were hot laps, they weren't messing around. It was, it was awesome. I would have gladly spent another ninety dollars to go again. Not too many. Get too many chances to, to ride in a factory car of any kind, so I, it was awesome. And it, and it sounded a lot like these. I mean, these cars with the, you know, the tinny sound, and because I mean, obviously there's no insulation, and you hear all the gear, you know, the gearbox and all those kinds of things, and you hear all this stuff. I mean, you, all the noises are to me are pretty accurate. And I got that Gallardo ready to lap him. Flash, I thought it flashed him. He's, he's getting the blue flag. Yeah, they even do that in qualifying too. If you're not on a hot lap, they'll throw the blue flag at you. Which I think is that's neat too. Or they'll you know they'll throw it at the other guy in front of you or whatever, whoever uh, needs to be uh, indicated. He's holding it about three and a half seconds. I think he gained some time on me there because I got it held up. Hope I'm not making a mistake. I kind of back it down a little bit. I don't want to be pushing real hard. anybody
Eh, sorry I'm doing so much talking. Like I said, just really nobody in here in front of me. Like I said, if anybody has any Thing, any comments or any feedback or anything I you know definitely wouldn't mind it and would, you know get back to you as soon as I can oh man I cut that way too short Look, I didn't get a flat on that one. Silverstone's bouncy. I mean, I get a lot of cars bouncing all over the place. Uh, it must be a. It doesn't look it, but it must be a. Got a lot of little ripples in it. Which I've heard that from the the motorcycle, like the MotoGP guys. They say it's it's getting kind of rough. I guess a lot of the, from the Formula One cars, pretty much tearing it up. Wrong gear. Buddy. I used to uh, race uh, motorcycles, just amateur, just club level type stuff. I used to do that. So I've, I've raced on the track, you know, competitively, with, which is extremely fun and I've done of course I've done track days and with my car with my Corvette which is really fun which I got some of those videos I haven't gone in a couple years but I mean I got some of those videos that are on my web page if anybody wants to see them they're, they're on there Yeah, I'm on my YouTube channel, I mean, I should say. So, they're, uh, I think I got them all listed under a playlist, so. Yeah, that is definitely really fun. I still have a really, I, I go to track days, it's a blast. It's really fun. It's just really expensive. And that's if you don't break anything. <laughs> don't break anything and don't crash or don't do anything and it's still expensive now, like I've always said whether it was a track day or when I was racing a motorcycle I always says most fun you can have with your clothes on so I love motorcycle racing, but just, you know, you start getting older, you start breaking bones and getting hurt and all that, and just wasn't like I was a professional or anything, you know, getting paid big money or something. I was just doing it on my nickel, and it just gets cheap with the bike, but expensive with the health care. I shouldn't say cheap, but a lot less cheap, a lot less expensive than a car, but like I said, you know, the healthcare makes up for that or more. 
I definitely broke my share of bones. Looks like we should have only about one lap to go. All right. Again, I appreciate stopping by and checking out my video. Sorry it wasn't a lot more exciting. Uh, I sure do appreciate you stopping by and checking the, any of my videos out. And like I said, I should have a review coming up on a car here uh, tomorrow. Should be coming out tomorrow. So um, hopefully y'all can check that out. I hope you like that. Uh, again, I you know appreciate any support, you know any feedback, support. If you like any of the content, you know hit the like button and and hit the subscription and uh, the bell for notifications. So you, you know anytime I come out with a video, it'll let you know. I sh I really would appreciate it. Just a, just a little guy that loves racing. Let's see GT racing. Awesome. Got points for hammer time, professionalism, and top qualifier. I'm happy about that. But I appreciate you all coming by, and I hope you come back and visit again, and I hope everybody has a great day, and, uh, and I hope you all take care. See ya. Bye.